Live, love, Africa. What's your excuse for not coming? Please subscribe. Hello, I'm Guinness the Mirror. <laughs>
And guess who's at the table with them eating some general sal chicken from those cheap Chinese food places in the food court? It was a black woman and they were counting their money together. So he'll go sell dope, come back to the table. There's a sister there eating some general sal chicken out of our, you know, six wing plate with fried rice out of a white styrofoam plate. Sitting there giggling and they're counting the money together. Back when I was addicted to uh, back when I was addicted to for love and hip hop Atlanta, I had a problem. I used to binge watch it. I remember Karen King and Waka Flocka's mom. I forgot her name. Somebody help me out. Debbie. I think her name is Miss Deb. I remember them bragging about how their exes, boyfriends, husbands, or whatever, how they would help them hide their dope and count their dope money. And they were bragging about it. Yeah, girl, you know, he used to sell dope and I would count his money and we'd go pop tags and, you know, he would hide his dope at my house, you know, bragging about it. And then, of course, I've heard black women talk about how she didn't like a particular guy because he was too nice. Like, for me, that just went over my head. Like, he, he was too nice. I don't like him. He's too nice. I don't get it. So again, it's just we cannot point the finger at each other without pointing the finger at ourselves. And you know, and me personally, I've admitted to uh, the dysfunction that I've contributed to the black community. I'm just as guilty. That's why before I'll point the finger out, I'll point it at myself. And until we do that and admit uh, black men and black women, until we could come together and admit that we are both wrong, we will not be able to heal and there will be no, no healing will take a place. So we need to be mature enough. That's the thing. It's just a lack of maturity. We need to be mature enough. Okay. Where we could come together and admit that, Hey, look, brother, I'm wrong. Sister, you know, bro brother, you know, what? as a black woman, I'm wrong as well. Brother say, you know what? As a black man, I'm wrong. I'm wrong as well. We come together. We admit our faults and then we move on together. But that's never going to happen if we cannot admit that we are equally as guilty. So, you know, it's just, again, I'm just tired of seeing these gender wars. You know, black men don't protect us. Black women ain't no good. You know, I'm just tired of, you know, I'm just tired of seeing it. You know, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm online. So, guys, thank you so much for joining. Because at the end of the day, when I hear that and I hear lack of accountability, all I see is the black men who are saying that and the black women who are saying that. All they're doing is jockeying for position under white supremacy. They just want a more comfortable seat next to Joe Biden or Donald Trump. That's all it is when I hear that. So that's how I see it. That's how I look at it. So when I hear a black man, all oh, black women ain't nothing. Black women ain't this, ain't that. But I got me a, you know, I got me a white girl. I got me an Asian girl. All they're doing is jockeying for position. A closer position to sit on Joe Biden's lap or Donald Trump's lap. Same thing with black women. When black women say, oh, black men ain't nothing. They ain't protecting us. They don't protect us. As if black men, I mean, you have, see, when you say stuff like that, you have brother Darren Seals. Just let, Let's use Darren Seals as an example. This brother died, was murdered for being on the front lines protecting, protecting not only black men, but black women. You have a number of black men who were taken out, assassinated, okay? When Ferguson first popped off, right? Black men who were being lynched in their backyards for protecting black women. I mean, let's keep it real, because we're all in it together. So when Darren Seals gets murdered, um, I forgot the name of the other brother who, who was killed, found hung by his mother in the backyard. He, they, they died to protect black women. But all that's forgotten because of this clown that killed uh, Oluwatoyin. Again, just let's not stereotype each other. All right, because I know, I just, me, I know too many good sisters out there. Too many. That's why I just you will not hear that out of my mouth. And if I said in the past, I'm sorry. And I and I've apologized. But again, it goes both ways. The dysfunction goes both 
ways. Okay? So, guys, thank you for joining. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Baddie Samir, search for Guru. Peace.